Hey dolls, so it's that time to do monthly favorites again. I'm going to actually try and get through this video without coughing. I know my coughing is so annoying, but I've been sick and I just, the only thing I have left is my cough. Other than that, I feel totally fine. So <clears throat> I may have to clear my throat once in a while, but hopefully I can get through a video without coughing. So I actually wrote down all my favorites this month because I had quite a few. And when I do my favorite videos, I like to kind of write them down as I receive them or as I realize, oh, hey, I need to include this in my favorites. I kind of write them down on a piece of paper and then I just reference them in my video. So the first things that I'm going to mention are clothing items. I'm just jumping right on into this. The first thing that I'm going to mention is the shirt that I'm actually wearing right now. I just did an outfit of the day on my vlog channel so if you want to see it go ahead and head on over there. I will also post pictures on my Instagram if they're not up already. And <clears throat> um, yeah it's just like a three-quarter sleeve gray top that has like three buttons right here and it's the brand Love Change and I got it, I thrifted it on Thursday, last Thursday or the most recent Thursday or whatever, Thrifty Thursday and I got it for $1.50 at my local thrift store so I love it and it fits me awesome and yes I love it. Um, the next item I actually thrifted last month I believe, I believe it was in last month's favorites but I am just in love with this top. I Every time that this top is clean, I wear it. So yes, you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, she wears that shirt like every single day. Well, I wear it every single day that it's clean. So yes. Um, this is my Aeropostale top. It's just a fitted tee that's really, really pretty blue. I actually got this while thrifting at the same thrift store last um, month, I believe, and it was $1.50 as well. Sorry, my camera's colors are going all weird. It's trying to focus on the blue and now it's trying to focus on me and it's just all crazy. And excuse my bangs, they are all not very attractive today as well. So anyway, moving on, the final clothing item I have for this month is this cute Pinkie Pie shirt that I have. It says iPie on it and it's got Pinkie Pie and I think it's so cute because it's like iPod only it says iPie because it's like Pinkie Pie. I got this from Aardvark Tees on Etsy. I will go ahead and post their link below but it's just so super cute and they have all kinds of different My Little Pony ones so if you're interested in one of these definitely go check out their shop. Their, their um Again, their link will be below, but their their clothes are so cute, and they do awesome prints, and it's very good quality. It's not, like, going to peel up or anything like that. I have a whole review on that, so if you want to see more, just head on over to my Etsy shop review playlist. Um, let's see here. The next thing that I'm going to mention before I get into anything else is my new addition to my little family. If you guys follow me on my, or if you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel or you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this. Um, I got a gerbil and her name is Jenica. She is such a, such, such a sweetie. I will insert a picture right here. But she is just so, so, so cute. She looks identical to the last gerbil that I had um, a couple years ago. I've had several gerbils in my lifetime. This isn't my first one, but she used to belong to my niece, but my niece just didn't really have the time to take care of her anymore, but she still wanted to see her, so she didn't want to have to sell her or anything, so I decided that I would... I would keep her because you guys know that my rat had recently passed away. I just got an email. And my rat had recently passed away, so I decided, okay, well, why not? You know, just why not? Um, and I still have my mouse, Pikachu, in case you guys were wondering. Um, I have a mouse named Pikachu. I had a, a mouse named Ash, too, but she actually passed away as well. Moving on, um, Jenica is just a love, though. She's so super cute and so soft, and she's so, so adorable. Uh, the next thing that I want to mention is, <clears throat> um, yeah, let's just move on to that, is my bracelet. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know about this. <coughs> I coughed. That's once. 
Alright, but anyway, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know about this. Zoe's Barbie Shoes on Etsy is so amazing. He is going to start supplying me with a bracelet each month. I think it is so, so, so fabulous. And I have a lot more information about the bracelets and how you can sign up for the program and stuff too. Um, I will be doing a video on that sometime in the future. I don't know exactly when because he's still working out kinks and everything, but pretty soon you'll be able to do like a little subscription service site, or subscription service through Zoe's Barbie Shoes. So yeah, this is April's bracelet of the month. It's just hot pink and silver and it's so cute and it goes perfect with my outfit today. Um, the bracelet is a little big on me, but I've already messaged him and told him my wrist measurements and everything, so that's all worked out. But anyway, he is totally fabulous, totally amazing. And um, while I'm on Zoe's Barbie Shoes, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. He had actually supplied me with like a dozen um, Barbie Shoe keychains that I can hand out with his little business cards to um, either people who order from my online shop or maybe if I wear this bracelet out in public and people ask me, where'd you get your bracelet, where'd you get your bracelet, I can easily just tell them, oh, Zoe's Barbie Shoes, and then give them the little keychain. And the keychains just look like this. The little keychains just look like this with a little Barbie shoe, and he gave me various different colors to hand out. I kept one or two for myself, so I was inspired by this little Barbie shoe right here to kind of <clears throat> revamp my keychain. Now my keys, I say keys lightly because I only have one key, but um, I had my keys on a lanyard and it was kind of a pain to try and like pull them out of my purse and everything um, on the lanyard because it would get stuck like with my phone in there and it would just get like annoying because I do have a smaller purse so it got annoying so I decided to revamp my keys and now I did them princess themed so they are so super cute I based it off of the Barbie shoe so I have the Barbie keychain right there and then I have my princess camera that I got from a shop, an Etsy shop, that she just supplied me with this as a little freebie. I believe it was Glittery Gem who supplied me with it. I think it's so cute. And then I have this little um, <clears throat> pony, which is Diamond Tiara. My niece gave this to me, so I turned her into a little keychain. And then my house key, which just says princess on it. So yeah, that's my only key. I don't drive or anything. My boyfriend drives me around. I know that's horrible. Don't ask me why I don't drive. Just, I don't drive. But, um, yes, my cute little princess, my cute little princess keychain. And I'm debating whether or not to put this bracelet on here too. I don't know if it would look cute on there. I might just put the bracelet on there too and just make it look all cute like and then they're easier to grab because they're not like on a lanyard or anything I'm looking for a pink one of these clippies so I can clip it to the side of my purse on the inside not on the outside because then people would steal my keys but on the inside I just unclip it and it just makes it so much easier and more convenient to grab and everything but that's just what it looks like again I'm looking for a pink one of these um the next thing that I'm gonna mention is I don't know. Let's move on to... I don't know. I just have everything piled up right here. Let's just move on to makeup. I only have one makeup item. Two makeup items. This was in last month's favorites. It's going to be in every month's favorites because it's the palette I have been using. I don't use any other palette recently but this palette. This is the Too Faced Sweet Indulgences palette. I was sent this from a subscriber, uh, my loyal subscriber Josephine, um, and her lovely mother sent this to me. And it just looks like this. It's got the shadows on top and then it's got the other necessities on the bottom. And yes, I am in love with this. I do not do tutorials. Um, there's a reason behind that. Don't ask me why. I just, maybe in the future I'll start doing tutorials, but as of right now, I don't because of personal reasons. But <clears throat> anyway, there's that. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, let's see here. Next thing, makeup wise, is this right here. It is the Color Sensational by Maybelline, the New Vivids collection. And this is in the color Fuchsia Flash. I wanted pink pop, you guys. I wanted pink pop, but they didn't have it. So I had to settle with this one for now. Um, I'll probably go back and get pink pop later. But my boyfriend got this one for me. I figured since I wasn't splurging on it, I might as well just get it anyway. But, um, uh, my boyfriend didn't make 
me pay him back or anything. It was just kind of like a little gift or something. He just kind of got it for me when we were at Walmart. And it just looks like this. It's a pretty, pretty fuchsia color. It turns out darker on my lips than my dollhouse pink that I'm actually wearing, which I'm much more of a, like, more purpley hot pink type of girl rather than the darker fuchsia color, but I decided to just get this one anyway because it looked really, really pretty when I was swatching it under the lights at Walmart, but once I got home I realized that it was darker, but I still wear it sometimes, so I have that, and it smells like Play-Doh. So if you're turned off by that, it smells like Play-Doh, so yeah, awkward. The next thing that is one of my favorites is this little perfume. This is actually a sample that I got from one of my boxes from Josephine that she had sent me, and this is C by Chloe. I don't know if you can even read it, but it's just a little sample. I don't have the full size, obviously, but I just love the smell. Like, I don't know how to explain the smell. It doesn't really smell florally. It smells a little bit more sophisticated, but yet still girly. So I don't, I'm really bad at explaining scents. So you'll just have to find this and smell it for yourself and let me know what you think. But that is my favorite scent of the month. Um, let's see here. What else, what else we got? Um, we have, oh, here's random. Let's move on to random. These Barbie tissues, oh my goodness, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of these when I first got them. They were in a six pack. So there were a pack of like six of these little packs. Um, I got these from my local Dollar Tree and I just love them. And it was perfect that I stumbled upon them when I was sick because I had to blow my nose constantly. And it was awesome that I had these. And I will say, if you do find these though, that these are like really, really like stiff Kleenexes. Like they're not soft on your nose. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, the brand on these, uh, Dr. Fresh. So stay away from the Dr. Fresh um, Kleenexes because they're not really, well, for one, they're not Kleenex brand. <laughs> they're tissues. Um, yeah, the Do Dr. Fresh brand isn't so soft to your nose, but I love the little packaging. I think they're so cute. I just wish that they were, the tissues themselves were pink. That would be so perfect. So, yes, um, each little pack includes 10 tissues. Uh, the next random thing that I have here are these spin pins. Now, I love these. I got these in my Summer Influencer Beauty Bloggers Vox Box last year, and I am just in love with these. Basically, they are these little pins for your hair, and I've done a tutorial on this, but you basically just, like, do your hair in a bun, like, you just twist it and then wrap it around itself, and then you just literally spin this in, and it will hold your hair in place and I think that they are so inventive and so awesome and so amazing and you guys should watch my little tutorial on this if you want to know more about it. It's in my hair tutorials playlist or it should be but these are so cool and I just love them so much. I show you guys how to use them and everything in that video so you can go check it out. Um, the next thing that I have is random. It is a candle. Mm. This is the candle that I got at my local Dollar Tree, which is crazy because doesn't this look just like the Airwick candles? It says on the package, compared to Airwick, but the brand is actually Air Fresh. But this is the Scent Island Breeze. Oh my goodness, and it smells so good. And it was only a dollar for this big candle, so I've been burning this in the background of a couple of my videos, and it's just... It's so yummy smelling. I love it. And the, the scent is strong. It's like powerful. It is compared to Airwick because it's very, it aromanates. Is that a word? It is now. Aromanates. Yeah. Yeah, that's a word now. Aromanates your room so well. The next thing I'm going to mention, I'm just going through this. The next thing I'm going to mention, um... Yeah. Okay, so at the end of every month, I'm going to start doing uh, my favorite foods, snacks, or candies. My favorite drink my favorite song, my favorite app or apps, and my favorite phone case or most used phone case of that month. So, um, <clears throat> I do want to inc include one more thing before I get into those. It is this phone case right here. This is for an iPhone 4. I actually made this. This I, The reason this is in my favorites is because it is for sale on my online store, 50 Shades of Pink Dot Store, Envy.com. The reason it's in my favorites is because this is my favorite case I have ever personally made that I am selling. So if you are interested in this case, it is very, very pretty. It is very, very gorgeous. Definitely my favorite piece that I have ever made. The Pinkie Pie down here is glow in the dark. 
so she glows green in the dark and it is just so super cute so if you want this case go to my online store and you can purchase it while it's still there it's Pinkie Pie so it'll probably be gone quick but um, I had to include that in my favorites because it's just you know a little bit of self promotion there but um, I love that case it is so beautiful so my favorite food snack or candy I actually have two favorite snacks and one favorite candy type thing. Uh, the favorite snack is dill pickle spits sunflower seeds. These are my favorites of every month. I go through like two or three bags of these each month. They're like my favorite. I know they're very salty and very bad for you, but I love them. Um, the next thing that are my favorites are these little Hello Kitty biscuits and they are so cute. They're just little Japanese or Chinese like snack candies where it's just like these little biscuits and then they have a little dippy sauce. I believe they're like the Rocky. Are they Rocky? What are the ones that I'm thinking of that are the other ones? These are just the Hello Kitty version of those. This one's the chocolate one. This is the strawberry one. I love both of them equally. I can't choose a favorite. And the candy item that is like my favorite this month, uh, my friend Alexis um, had one of these in one of her favorites. I believe it was her January favorites. I could be mistaken, but these duo icebre icebreaker duos, they are amazing. I was at my local Dollar Tree, so I got the strawberry one and I got the raspberry one to try, and I just got the little ones because I just wanted to try them out before I, you know, bought like a whole big thing of them. I wanted to make sure I liked them first. So I got one of each. I got the strawberry and the raspberry, and my raspberry ones are all gone. They have been for like the whole month. I just wanted to keep the little packaging so I could show you guys. I still have a couple left of the strawberry ones, but out of these two, the raspberry ones are my favorite. So I don't know if they have more flavors or different flavors. If they have different flavors, let me know, and I'll try to look for them. But the raspberry one is definitely, definitely my favorite one. So there's that for my favorite candy. Now, moving on to my favorite drink of this month. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys my most drank drink, or my most drunk drink this month. <laughs> My most drunk drink this month. Drunk drink this month. Wow, that's a tongue twister in itself. So I just have my little Pinkie Pie Pony Cup right here that I got at Walmart for about 87 cents in the party supply section. And this is how I drink my <clears throat> um, sodas. So it's a little wobbly in there because it's not perfectly like even and stuff. But whenever I have like a bottle of water or whatever I have, I always have it in here. And then I put my pink straw in there and I drink it. And you guys can probably tell by the little logo that my most drunk drink this month is Mountain Dew. <laughs> Okay, so my most listened to song this month, you guys are going to think I'm a total nerd, but it is... Dirty Pop! or Pop by NSYNC has been my song of the month. My niece and I are actually coming up with a dance, and once we finish the dance, we're going to upload it on YouTube, probably on my vlog channel, maybe on this channel, I don't know yet, but we came up with a dance for it, and it's going to be really, really fun, because I used to be in dance class at school. When I was in high school, I did, um, my PE class was actually dance, so I was obsessed with dance, and I had been doing dance since, like, fifth grade, but I was never on the actual dance team at high school, but I did the PE dance and we did performances and stuff on the stage and everything and like that. But anyway, so yes, that is my favorite song of the month. Uh, my favorite apps for this month, um, I have two that I'm going to mention. The first one I stumbled upon was this one right here, which is Happier. And basically it's kind of like Instagram where you can just go on there and you can like share happy moments with friends and stuff. And you just take a look, quick little picture and just focus on the, your happy moments in life. Because I know that focusing on positive things makes you happy. So if you're going to focus on negative things, you're obviously going to be upset and irritated and angry all the time and I just like positive people in my life and I like to be surrounded by positive things so I think that this is an awesome app 
And as for my favorite game or app game or whatever you want to call it, this month is Candy Crush. I'm not going to go into big detail with that, but I love Candy Crush so much. I'm so addicted to it. And then the last thing that I'm going to mention is obviously my iPhone is my favorite for this month. I have a ton of videos. I have my I got an iPhone video which explains where I got the phone, what the process was I went through to get the phone, etc, etc. Then I have an iPhone case collection video and then I also have um, a what's on my iPhone. So if you want to see any of those, go check them out. Just search it or something. They should be there. Um, I might link them below or I might not. It depends. And so that leads me to my favorite case of this month, which is, I actually have two favorite cases of this month. The first case is this one right here. Hello Kitty one I got off of eBay for about $4 in my iPhone case collection video. I actually linked this in the description box of that video, so go watch that video if you want to know more about this case and the direct link to purchase it. Same with this one. Um, it's just the silicone Hello Kitty case that like everybody and their brother has pretty much but um, you can get this on eBay I got mine for under five dollars so again I made the iPhone case collection and for the direct link to this case go check out that video and then I do want to mention one last thing I actually have a second online store I don't know if you guys know this or not this was in my exciting news video um, this is what it was all based on I actually have a second online store it's for custom t-shirts I've made Manda, Team Manda shirts and I Heart Manda and I've also made various different like Country Barbie and My Little Pony and tons of different t-shirts and there's also a couple phone cases and mugs and all kinds of stuff so I do have an online t-shirt shop where you can purchase um, Manda memorabilia or you can purchase just other things on there that I have designed myself so I will put the link in the description box and go feel free to look around shop around and please let me know if you purchase anything. I'd be really, really excited to see it. That's actually going to wrap it up for my monthly favorites. I hope you all enjoyed this, my little rambliness and my non coffiness I finally got through a video. Now I have to cough. <clears throat> I finally got through a video without totally coughing my brains out. However, you guys don't know how many times I had to stop this video and cough. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway, I guess I will talk to you guys in my next video, and I want to see your monthly favorites, so post it as a video response. Also, please peel, f fleas peel, please feel free to subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel, which is Daily Doll 31409 and uh, follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Manda31409, like my fan page on Facebook, Manda31409, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you all in my next video. All right. Bye, guys.